In the Cadillac world, it's 1961. And in 1961, we expect it to be pretty much of a Cadillac world, which I might say is a good-looking world indeed. So, if you're ready, gentlemen, let's preview 1961's look of leadership. Here is the six-window sedan, 6229, with a new body structure, as you can see, and a new floor pan, and new styling that gives this year's Cadillac its own special look of leadership. A lean, crisp, sculptured appearance is shown here on the 6339 sedan. One thin chrome molding along the lower part of the car for protection. A thinner roof line. And, looking at the front of the car, we see that the lean, lively look is carried out in the design of the hood and fenders. In the heads-up look of the grille, which has smaller projectiles. In the alert appearance of the headlamps. In the new bumper and redesigned fog lamps. The new grille not only has smaller, thinner projectiles, but the aluminum this year has a brighter finish that will retain its luster for a longer period of time. This completely new body style is an addition to the 62 series. The 6299 sedan, available soon, which has a shorter rear deck than any other model. It has an overall length of 215 inches, which makes it seven inches shorter than other 1961 models, not counting the 75s, of course. Except for the 75s, all 61 models are three inches shorter than they were last year. The DeVille family also has an addition this year. The Eldorado Biarritz, now designated as Body Style 6367. On all models, the rear fins are slightly lower this year in keeping with the crisp styling. And the backup and taillight assembly in the bumper end is horizontal rather than vertical. Also, there's a new way of opening the fuel filler door by pushing in at the top, since the door now pivots at the top. And swinging around to the side of the car, we see that the new exclusive design of the wheel discs blends in with the overall styling changes. The discs are painted in production to match the car's exterior finish. Service replacement discs will be stocked in car color as there is no satisfactory method for refinishing in the field. And note the deep recess, which is perhaps the most distinctive feature of the new discs, and has necessitated a reverse spider wheel design, which makes it impossible to use the 61 wheel disc on any other model Cadillac, or practically any other automobile for that matter. The rear bumper and the area beneath the rear deck lid are new and different. The trunk itself this year, incidentally, has a greater capacity, 18 and 4 tenths cubic feet of usable luggage space, up from 17 last year. It is lined with a new tweed-type material that is harder to soil, easier to clean. Before we move inside the 1961 Cadillac, let's take a look at the model whose appearance has changed the most, the 60 Special which, as you see, is a more formal-looking car this year, more elegant, smaller rear window, thinner roof line, and many other particulars of styling that make it entirely different from any previous 60 Special model, and with its own special distinction in the 1961 Cadillac line, which consists of 12 body styles and a commercial chassis, the 6229 six-window sedan, the 6239 four-window model, the new short-deck sedan, 6299, the 6237 coupe, and the 6267 convertible. The 6329 and the 6339 sedan DeVilles, the famous 6337 coupe DeVille, and the 6367 Eldorado Biarritz. And of course, the 60 Special 6039, and the 75 sedan and limousine, designated as the 6723 and the 6733, plus the commercial chassis. That's the lineup, complete and good-looking. To keep it good-looking, 
we should note an important caution when buffing the car's exterior. Do not buff straight onto any of the contoured edges, since with the buffer applying pressure directly on the edge, heat will concentrate in this area and the painted finish will be buffed away. To avoid this, move the buffer with the contour, as indicated here by arrows, taking care never to move the buffer directly over the edge. Now, let's get inside for a minute, which will be easier to do this year since the top of the door opening has been raised and the windshield pillar moved forward. The driver's entrance also will be made easier by the smaller steering wheel. And once we get inside, it sits better too. Increased seat height, more hip and shoulder room, a narrower and lower transmission tunnel. And the interior looks newer. For example, the instrument panel is slim and clean looking keeping in tune with the overall styling objectives. The instrument panel on the 75 series and commercial chassis, however, as well as the cowl and all its components, has the same appearance as in 1960. Even the glove box is new for 1961. It's a bin design that keeps the pencil, the flashlight, or any other item inside from rolling out. And at the other end of the panel, a new location for the windshield wiper controls and the cruise control, making them both more accessible to the driver. And the cruise control has more than a new location. A sliding control lever that makes it handier to operate and allows for more positive operation. Speed regulation is selected by setting the sliding lever and the automatic control is engaged by depressing the lock-in button. As you might expect, with these and other changes in the instrument panel, the wiring behind the panel has also been changed to suit the new instrument arrangement. The harness has more connectors, and many of them are locked together. As you know, these connectors won't come apart, and if the connector looks as though it's put together all the way, it is. No second guessing, no broken circuits. Another new connector, is this bulkhead connector used between the under dash harness and the under hood harness. The screw running through this connector is used to secure the connection. Something else new about the 1961 instrument panel is something it doesn't have this year. The power window controls, which have been relocated to the driver's armrest. Besides being in a natural position for the driver, the power window controls are now arranged to correspond to the window position. The right front switch operates the right front window, and so on. Another feature that's going to make a big hit with the 1961 Cadillac owner, well, let's talk about that after the operator changes the record. As we were saying, another new feature the owner will like is this. The heater and air conditioner systems can now be operated at the same time. This will help him control humidity conditions in the car, summer and winter. Here's how the simultaneous operation works. You'll recall that last year, a vacuum operated air valve directed the air from the blower through either the heater core or the evaporator. This air valve was actuated by the air conditioner heater vacuum power unit, shown here in blue. The same valve and vacuum power unit are still used, but another vacuum power unit, shown here in red, has been added to the system. This new vacuum unit holds the air valve in a midway position when both the air conditioner and heater are turned on, so that part of the air from the blower passes through the heater and part through the evaporator. Another new vacuum power unit is the bypass valve vacuum diaphragm. This one takes over the job of regulating the bypass valve, eliminating the Bowden cable. With the Bowden cable gone, so is the noise that it's sometimes transmitted to the passenger compartment. And the bypass valve vacuum diaphragm makes it easier to regulate the temperature control lever. You'll also notice that a sliding lever is used this year, rather than a switch to select normal or recirculated air. 
This is the same lever that's used to open and close the fresh air vent. One more feature on the 1961 air conditioner system that we ought to make mention of is the new magnetic clutch which engages the pulley on the Freon compressor when the air conditioner is turned on. This new clutch is simple in design. It eliminates the old type ramp ball clutch assembly. In addition to simplicity of design, it's exceptionally reliable and easy to service. Turning our attention a minute from the front to the rear of the car, let's see what has been done to solve this poor fellow's dilemma. A rear window defogger is being offered as a dealer installed accessory. As shown here, the defogger draws air from the passenger compartment through a blower, which is located in the trunk, and the accelerated air stream is then blown over the entire rear window from two outlets on the rear shelf. The defogger outlets will be flush with the shelf and very inconspicuous. The defogger can be installed on previous model Cadillacs. They are not available for 75s or convertibles. And while the owner is getting a good view of what's behind him through his rear window, his view up front has been improved by the new design of the instrument panel, which minimizes glare and reflection. And the overlapping windshield wiper blades will help him keep a clear lookout for what's up ahead. These blades are completely new and have a seven inch overlap, which makes them mighty efficient. To remove the windshield wiper arms, a special tool, J8966, should be used. This will make the job of changing or adjusting the arms easier and faster. The guide Matic remains basically the same this year. However, the courtesy salute has been eliminated. In addition to looking newer inside as well as out, sitting better with improved seat height, headroom, hip and shoulder room, having a better entrance with higher door opening, lower step over, and relocation of the windshield pillar forward, the 1961 Cadillac will ride a little quieter and better. The new body is firmer with new body reinforcements that are unique with Cadillac, which will transmit less noise from chassis to body. The frame of the car, which has dual front cross members and lower side rails, and the new body provide a more solid, firmer car a quieter ride, and a sense of isolation from disturbances of the road. Quieter, smoother, better riding, and easier to operate. Customer benefits that will really please the owner. And there are some benefits that are there just to please the serviceman. For example, the windshield upper and side reveal moldings are attached by new snap-on type clips making it possible to remove the moldings from the outside with the Reveal Molding Remover J7898. That's the same tool used on the rear window moldings in 1960. Another service feature is the new location of the vacuum door lock remote control valve assembly. Rather than being on the left side under the dash, it's been moved to the right hand side under the right defroster duct where it's a little easier to get at. There's an improved transmission on the six-way power seat and a new motor-to-transmission drive cable that will not have a tendency to twist when transmitting power. Also of interest to service is the fact that it is now possible to relocate the front seat one inch forward or rearward of its normal position. The procedure, of course, is thoroughly covered in the 1961 shop manual. Also covered in the new manual, is the easier and faster method of removing and installing instrument bulbs, since it's now possible to reach the bulbs by removing only the lower steering column cover. In the radio department, the tone control this year has a centered detent position that provides a balanced response for normal listening. The tone can be adjusted, of course, by turning the control to the left or right. Also, just one make of antenna will be used the one manufactured by Tenna. Two changes that you will probably notice when you open the front door of the 1961 Cadillac are the new butt-type hinges, which allow for thinner doors 
and therefore increased interior room. And the new type wiring harness conduit running between the body pillar and the front door. This year, a rubber accordion type is used rather than the metal type. And here's another new conduit, the one running under the step plate. A strong plastic conduit replaces the metal conduit used on previous models, reducing the chance of an internal short circuit. Besides its many other features, the 60 Special has power-operated rear vents. But whether the car is an elegant 60 series, or is one of the fashionable styles of the 62 series, or a distinctive 75, Cadillac has the appearance of being lively, crisp, clean. It has the ride, the feel, and the looks of leadership in 1961. Please like and subscribe to stay tuned for more videos.